Hello and welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And yes, we have the 1200 again. Didn't we just see this? We really did just see this. But it's open. And it has blinky lights, which means it's on. Yes, it is on. This computer will rule the world. you will see that this has a Pi Storm in it. Okay, that's what this little dude over here is. Now this could be any accelerator card. You could have a 030, like a 1230 in there. You could have a TF1260, which is a 68060, or you could have a Pi Storm. If you look over here, you're also gonna see that it has a Mark III from Indivision Flicker Fixer. You may also have a uh, Scan Plus AGA, which is another Flicker Fixer option for the 1200. The Scan Plus does not de-interlace, so, it's a flicker fixer, but it doesn't really de-interlace. So it, it's more of a scan doubler, not a flicker fixer. The Mark III though is a full on flicker fixer. So like if you have like a Picasso 4 in your Amiga, that's kind of what this is doing. As it turns out, it does it in a way that might not be the most beneficial. And it's not just the Mark III. The Scan Plus AGA is the same thing. We suspect any of these scan doublers, flicker fixers that graft on top of the video chipset like this might have this problem. And what is that? What do I, what do I, what do I mean that? Well, right down here, after we run speed test, you see where it says chip speed? And as you can see, that number is pretty, pretty low, 1.56. If you ran an emulator like WinUAE or, or ran Amaberry with like Pymega, you'd see a number like seven. So why are we seeing 156? Well, for a long time, we really thought it was how the, the Pi Storm was encoded or what it was doing. There were some issues. It did actually have slower chip speed, but they had, it had since addressed that and it fixed a lot of that. But we were still seeing this thing here where it says 156. So I said, okay, well, let's pop out the Pi Storm and let's put in like a TF1260, a real chip. You know, a full on real chip. It's an 060 card. Slapped it in there, popped it in, turned on the Amiga 1200, ran the test again. And that number, that chip speed number, was 1.75, still way, way under. So the only commonality we could think of is that, well, what have you not done in all these tests? You haven't pulled off this, this flicker fixer. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I wanna confirm that indeed, whatever science and magic these flicker fixers are doing and these scan doublers are doing, they're eating up CPU cycles, they're eating up chip time cycles, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that could be the reason why we're seeing such poor chip speed. And why is chip speed important? Important. Well, obviously, if you're playing AGA video games, you need all of the bandwidth you can get to make those games run nice and smooth. If you're like me and you're more a creative and using 3D software, that chip speed drives the, the screen. So like if you go to programs like Lightwave, um, that drives the speed of something as simple as just clicking in this view and moving this, this view around, okay? See how kind of chunky and flashy and, and strobey this is? That's because that chip speed is really low. This is... This is basically the chip speed of, of a stock unaccelerated Amiga. Yeah, not, not great. Especially when you, you bought that 4000 or 1200, right? And you're looking for that AGA speed. You're not really seeing it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this Mark III and then run this test again and see what happens. Okay, we're back. The flicker fixer has been removed. The Pi Storm is still in there. We've got sysinfo up and what are we getting number wise? Well, look at that. Look at this, 156. So what's going on there? Even with the flicker fix removed and the latest update to the Pi Storm 32 Lite, we are still seeing really bad chip speed numbers. Well, I guess that proves that. So what we're gonna do next is pop the Pi Storm out and put the TF1260 in there and see what numbers it posts. I mean, in theory, you'd think based on what we've been told, if you remove scan doublers and flicker fixers, that this should be higher numbers, but it's not, at least with the Pi Storm. Let's see if the 1260 gets higher numbers. All right, we are back, and yes, I've got the 1260 crammed in there. As you can see, the Mark III is still unplugged, and yeah, we are back to Flickerville. If we come up here, let's go to workbench. I have gobs of memory still, because the 1260 does have quite a bit on it. Here we go, the 60 to 60, boom, 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 card slot, yes. All right, let's smash the speed button and let's see what happens. Let's get so excited here looking at this number. Is it gonna be a happy number? 175, well, what the heck, 175. What is going on, folks? 68060 is only doing 175. 
a pie storm's doing 157, and that's with the flicker fixer completely removed. Oh gosh, darn it, 1200 speeds, what's going on? Is it something to do with the controller chip that even the TF1260 uses that, you know, maybe the chip that allows the Real 060 chip to work with the Amiga, does that controller chip have some kind of limitation the same way the Pi Storms controller chip might have? I don't know. You guys have any ideas? All right, let's go ahead and try the GVP card. Let me see if I can go dig that up, the 030. Okay, we are back up again. And as we look down here, this time I took the lid off so you could really see it. We are back to really old school, old school. All right, GVP 1230. It's a 40 megahertz, 68030. Uh, still no flicker fixer. Let's see what happens with this card. And now we're down to 20 something megabytes. Yeah. And yeah, 68030. And let's smash the old speed button. No data burst, huh? Oh, there we go, data burst, okay. Smash the speed button, and what are we gonna get here? What are we gonna get? Here she comes. Oh, well look at that. 2.2 for chip speed, that's an improvement. It's still not the big numbers, but that's a 40 megahertz, it's reading 42.7 megahertz. Being that it's, you know, an old school interface from back in the day for that 030 chip, we are seeing that improved chip speed number. So yeah, this is gonna have faster graphics than the 68060 and the Pi Storm. Undeniable, right there. Pretty good MIPS too for that. That 030 at 42 megahertz does a pretty good job. And we fire up Lightwave here, just like we did before. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's 1.7 versus 2.2. Two, whatever it's not a big difference but it's a little little bit of a difference still this is nowhere near as fast as seven like when you have a, a chip score of seven i mean this this just flies i can whip the mouse left and right and it's almost like you're playing a first person video game on a modern pc but that's to be expected the point is is that this 68030 at 40 megahertz is doing better than a 68060 and a pi storm so there must be something on the controller chips of those cards however they interface that has something to do with that chip speed issue. And I guess it has, at least at least in this testing I've done, the flicker fixture doesn't seem to make a difference. I guess to confirm that, the next step would be to, let's leave this GVP in here and put the flicker fixture back in and see if that 2.2 number goes down and then we'll know for sure that something's going on. And I'm not denying that that flicker fixture in combination with the Pi Storm might still produce worse numbers, like when you pop it off. But look, you I'm doing this with you, you saw what I did. And it didn't make a difference in numbers. That that flicker fixture, this Mark III has made no difference at all. Take that from whatever that means, I guess. But right now, let's go ahead and pop the flicker fixer back on, get our nice, clean, happy HDMI output, and see if our chip speed number drops below 2.2. All right, so now we've got the 1230 still in there. We've put the flicker fixer back on. All right, so it's back in there and We'll go ahead and run good old sysinfo. Let's get in there, sysinfo, and see what we get, huh? It was 2.2 last time, like 2.21 to be specific. So now with the flicker fixer and its amazingly clean output, what are we gonna get? Anything lower than 2.21? Nope, 2.21. And yes, I did notice over here data burst was turned off. I'll go ahead and run it again. So yeah, that at least proves to me, and hopefully to you all, that the flicker fixer has nothing to do with chip speed versus A600. There you go again, 2.21. And I've confirmed this now with all three of these cards in front of you where we're not seeing any differences in speeds with the flicker fixer in or out. What the heck? And in fact, the 68030 at 40 megahertz is our fastest chip speed card. We could pop in the most common card that people put in their 1200s back in the day. So you bought a 1200, it came with two megs of chip memory, cool, AGA chipset, even better, but it had nothing in the trap door. So you had no fast memory, no FPU, it ran super, super slow. So if you really wanted to do anything beyond games, the cheapest thing to do would be to put in a fast RAM card with an FPU and probably a battery backup clock on it. And that would kind of give you the, the 1200 as it maybe was meant to really have been, right? A full-fledged computer. It's got its math coprocessor, it's got fast memory in it, and a battery backed up clock. So you can use it more as a proper full productivity computer. Let's put that in there and see what those numbers are. I'm really curious if even a 1200 with the most basic accelerator in it will produce faster chip speed numbers than the Pi Storm or the 060. 
Okay, so here we go. We've got the most basic expansion you can get, really. FPU, eight megs of fast memory, to make your 1200 a better 1200. Once again, here, look at that memory up there. Oh, it keeps getting lower. Go to Workbench, and we'll run over here to Sysinfo. Ooh, yes, we, we have none of these caches available now. We have instruction cache, at least. And smash the old speed button. And what are we gonna get? Give us the speed. So we're running three MIPS, 0.4 MFLOPs, and look at that chip speed. Wow. So 3.0, an Amiga 1200 with the most basic expansion card in it, an FPU and some fast memory. You're basically seeing the 1200 running at full speed as far as the AGA chipset goes, 3.0. So if you want the fastest graphics for your games, I would, I would argue that uh, just leave your 1200 alone. Don't put any expansion in the trap door. And if you're a productivity person, all these accelerator cards, including the GVP, which was old school original GVP, not, not some new hybrid one, right? The GVP got a chip speed versus A600 of 2.21, and the essentially a stock 1200 with some fast memory and an FPU is getting 3.0. So you guys that are smart out there and understand how technology works, is that some kind of um, bus overhead from having accelerators? Do they eat up more time? Do they gobble up bits and things behind the scenes doing it is whatever it is they do to make your computer go faster overall that you lose that speed? I guess, maybe. I guess that puts to bed the debate. We just tested a real 060, a Pi Storm, a real 1230 GVP, this basic fast RAM FPU expansion, and we see the chip speed numbers. And it doesn't look like Flicker Fixer has anything to do with affecting that speed. Now, it may still have affected the speed of the Pi Storm. I'm not, let's, let's put the big asterisk up there that at least all of these other cards I tested, the Flicker Fixer made no difference, right? The Pi Storm may still have an issue with that Flicker Fixer, but I was not able to demonstrate it here for you today in this video. But others may have had that with maybe different versions of the software, I don't know. But for sure I can say that the Flicker Fixer, at least the Mark III here, does not seem to have any effect on that chip speed. In fact, slower the CPU is, the higher the number I'm seeing down there. So make, make of that what you can and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'm done with this video. Hmm. Now what, what am I going to put back in there?